We've talked about the mass spectrometers. A mass spectrometer may include three parts: the accelerator, velocity selector, and the circular motion part. Let's say we are accelerating a positive charge over here from in the accelerator. When we use the voltage to accelerate the charge, we can use the conservation of energy. The kinetic energy gain comes from the potential energy loss, and U equals to Q V. And for the velocity selector part, we have a magnetic field over here, but we do not want the particle to do circular motion. We want to make the particle go straight. But in order to do that, we have to provide an electric field, and the reason why the particle can go undeflected is because the electric force and the magnetic force acting on the particle must be equal and opposite, so they can cancel, and that's why the particle goes straight undeflected. And the electric force for a charge in the electric field is Q E, and the magnetic force is Q V B. The sine part is the sine ninety degrees, which is one. So the charge would cancel. That means the speed of the particle must be e over b. Only particles with velocity that's、uh, this value would go straight. If not, it would they would、uh, deflect and would not go through. We also need the electric force to be to be opposite to the magnetic force. So let's see. The magnetic force on this charge would be v cross b up that way. That means we need the electric force to be in the opposite direction. If we want the electric force on a positive charge to go down, that means the electric field in this region must be downward. And this configuration will actually work for negative charge as well, because for a negative charge coming in, the magnetic force will be down, the electric force will be up. So this configuration works for negative charge as well. For the circular motion part. In order for the particle to do circular motion, we would remove the electric field. So now the particle is only under the influence of a magnetic force, and this magnetic force would go v cross b up that way. So the particle is going to do circular motion, curving upward. And then so it hits the screen over here. We can either have fluorescent material to light up or something to detect this point. That means this part. Is the diameter twice the radius? If an object is doing circular motion, usually we use the net force equals to m a. Right now, there is only magnetic force, which is q v b, and this is m times because it's doing circular motion. That's v squared over r. So one of the v's would cancel, and that means that we can get this charge to mass ratio that equals to v over r b. And we know the speed because we could measure the speed using this, and then we can measure the r, and then we know how strong a magnetic field we apply. So we get this value. In a problem, we may not see all three parts. We may see just one or two of the parts.